Hello, hello! Welcome back to Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. Okay? And do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Nahihirapan ba kayo kung paano isolve yung worded problem using the Venn diagram? Sa ngayon, matutunan natin kung paano isolve yung problem using the Venn diagram. Ay may meron tayong susundin na mga steps kung paano isolve ang problem solving using the Venn diagram. Kung sa tingin niyo at nasa isip niyo mahirap kasi nga worded problem madali lang. Ang gagawin niyo lang makinig, matuto at manood. Mali pala. Makinig manood at matuto. Welcome to Pamati Tutorial. Okay? Tala. Ngayon, simulan na natin the introduction of sets, the problem solving. Okay. Review. Kunting review muna. Sets sa collection of well-defined objects na pwede siya gawa yung grupo na meron siya mga objects na tinatawag ring elements sa set or member ng grupo. Situ it, it is a well-defined set. Okay? Kaya kung hindi, hindi, kapag hindi siya well-defined, then it is not a set. Okay? Then, meron tayong apat na operation of sets, which is the union of sets, that would be the shading, means lahat ng elements ng dalawang sets na yan, those are the union of sets. Next, pangalawa, the intersection of sets, which is ang nasa gitna. Pangatlo, the difference of sets na the difference of set B from set A which is lahat ng elements na A na wala ka B. Okay? Next, the complement of set A. Na ibig sabihin, lahat ng elements na nandun sa universal set pero wala kang set A. Okay? Yun ang apat na operation of sets. Okay, let's proceed the problem solving. Okay, una, let's have here our examples. And our problem is, a survey was conducted at your school with 100 respondents. It was found that 68 students like mathematics, 42 students like science, 27 students like both math and science. Then, at tanong, how many students like only math? Pangalawa, how many students like only science? And pangatlo, how many students does not like math or science? Okay, math or science. Yun ang problem natin. At ito yung tanong, ito yung mga given. Okay, una, tandaan natin. Meron tayong universal set which is the 100 respondents. 100 respondents. Kung tatanungin kayo, sample, how many students like only mathematics? Kasi nga, may nakita tayo 68 students like math. Sagot din natin. Isasagot natin is 68 students. Wrong. Okay? That is wrong. Hindi siya 68 students. Mathematics only. Sa 68 students, yes, it is like mathematics, but some of them gusto rin ang science. Okay? At some of them, dalawa yung gusto. Math or science. Okay? Now, try to observe how many subjects ba ang tinatanong ang nandun sa survey. Dalawa. Math and science. Therefore, our Venn diagram, we have the universal set, the 100 respondents, the cardinality is 100 respondents, then, meron tayong sets for mathematics and set for science. Dalawa lang. Kasi, dalawa lang yung subject na tinatanong. Math and science. Okay. Then, kung sasagot kayo tayo ng isang Venn diagram, uh, a worded problem using a Venn diagram, magsisimula tayo sa baba na given. Ito yung pinakababa na given. Yung nasa pinakahuli. Which is, the 27 li students like both math and science. Then, kapag sinabi natin both, it means pareho. 
Saan ba banda sa ating Venn diagram na nag-intersect ang dalawang sets? Set M at saka set S. Okay, both kasi nga intersection. Okay, therefore, nandito sa gitna. Okay, the intersection of math and science or the set M and set A S is 27 and nandito yan sa gitna which is the 27 the intersection. Next, ang tanong, ilan na lang ba ang may gusto ng mathematics? Alam natin, assigns mo na kasi, nandito tayo sa huli, pumusit tayo dito sa signs. Ilan na lang ba ang may gusto ng signs? O pwede rin, ilan na lang ba ang may gusto ng mathematics? Alam natin na merong 68 ang math, merong 72 ang science. Then, pareho sila, math and science, merong 27 na may gusto. Okay, therefore, sa mathematics, merong 68 na students. Then, i-minus natin yung 27. At ang natira, 68 minus 27 which is 41. Then, ang may hilig sa mathematics only means wala siyang ibang gusto kundi mathematics lang. Okay? Which is 41 students. Okay? Yun siya. And that would be our formula. Sa so, susunod naman, yung signs. Ilan bang sudyante ang may gusto ng signs? Which is 42. At remember, out of 42, meron ng 27 na ang gusto ay signs. Therefore, 42 minus 27, yan siya. This, ang sagot is 15. Therefore, merong 15 na sudyante na ang gusto ay signs lamang. Okay, pwede na nating sagutin ang tanong. How many students like only uh, bago pa yan ilan bang respondents meron tayo there are 100 respondents alam natin na 27 mahilig math, ng, uh, math at saka science merong 41 students na may gustong mathematics at merong 15 students na gusto lang ang science 41 plus 27 plus 15 100 ba ang total Hindi. Therefore, ang total niya is 83. 41 plus 27 plus 15 is 83. Then, ang respondents natin is 100. Respondents is 100. Therefore, 100 minus 83. Ang sagot is 17. Merong 17 na sudyante ang hindi gusto yung math at saka science na subject. Okay? Wala sa dalawa yung hilig nila na subject. Okay, pwede. Using this Venn diagram, pwede na natin sagutan ang tanong. How many students like only mathematics? The answer is 41. How many students like only science? Ang sagot is 15. And how many students does not like math or science? Hindi gusto yung dalawa, it means ito nasa labas, which is 17. Okay? Next, let's proceed to the next example. Say pa rin. A survey was conducted at your school with 58 students. It was found that 42 students like math, 18 students like science, and 20 students like English. 12 students like both math and science. Then 15 students like both science and English. 11 students like both math and English. The 10 students like the three subject. The questions are, how many students like math only? How many students like science only? How many students like English only? Then how many students neither choose the three subjects? Walang gusto sa tatlo, math, science, and English. Okay. Unang gagawin, gagawa tayo ng Venn. Then, meron tayong tatlong sets na nag-intersect. Kasi 
tatlo. Tatlo yung subject na tinatanong. Math, Science, and English. Then, remember, in answering a Venn diagram, dapat magsisimula tayo sa pinaka baba na given. Which is, the 10 students like the 3 subject. By looking at our Venn diagram, tingnan natin yung Venn diagram natin. Ito si Matt, blue, si Science ang red, yellow for English. Alin ba dyan sa tatlo o saan ba banda sa tatlong Venn diagram ang ating intersection? Okay. Okay. Ito. Sa sabong sudyante, yung gusto ay yung tatlong subject which is the math, science, and English. Okay, nandyan sa gitna that would be our intersection merong sampung students. Next question is 11 students like both math and English. Ang gusto nila ay math at saka English. Okay, 11 yan. Meron na tayong sampo na gusto yung tatlong subject then, math and English, meron dyang 11. The intersection of math and English, okay? The intersection of math and English, there would be an 11. Then, yan siya, intersection of math and English. Ito siya, na, nakashade na ng yellow. Remember, meron na tayong 10, pero gusto ng math at English is 11. Therefore, 11 minus 10. Then, may natira na 1. Ito na part. O, dyan na part is merong isa. Okay. Pero, lahat na yan, 10 plus 11 plus 1 is equal to 11. Mahilig sa math at English. Okay. Sunod. There would be 15 students like both science and English. Science and English. Okay. The intersection of science and English is 15. Then, alam natin, this would be the intersection of science and English. Ito siya ang intersection ng science and English. Remember, meron ng sampo na nandyan, sampo. Then, ang intersection is 15. Ilan na lang ang natira para dito? Okay? Means 15 minus 10, ang sagot is 5. Okay. Good job. Next, meron na tayong... 12 students like both math and science. Okay, the intersection of math and science is 12. And remember, the intersection of math and science is ito. This would be the intersection of math and science. Meron tayong 10 na nandiyan. Ano na lang ang kulang para mabuo ang 12? 12 minus 10, the answer is... Two. Therefore, may dalawa dyan. Remember, math and English merong 11, 10 plus 1. Sa science at English, merong 15, 10 plus 5. Then, sa math and science, merong 12. Therefore, 10 plus 2. Okay, let's proceed. The next one in our problem is 20 students like English. Okay, ilan ang gusto ng English? 20. Buong circle na ito, ang gusto is English. Yan. English ang gusto ng buong circle. Then remember, that is 20 students. Yan siya, 20 students. Pero, sa circle na ito, for the English, the set English, meron na tayong 1, 10, at saka 5. Pwede natin siya ito. Total. 5 plus 10, 15 plus 1. The answer is 16. Pero, meron tayong 20 students like English. Ano na lang? O magkano na lang ang kulang? Therefore, 20 minus 16. The answer is 4. You have your 4. Next, we have 18 students like signs. The same. This would be our sets for the signs. Yan siya. Then, meron na tayong 5, 10, at saka 2. Ilan na lang ang kulang para mabuo ang 18? The answer is 1. Good job. Next, 
24 students like math. There are, this would be our sets for mathematics. Now, how many students? 24. Pero, sa sets na mathematics, meron na tayong 2, 10, at saka 1. That is the total of 13. Pero meron tayong 24. Ang kulang na lang is 11. Okay. Now, meron tayong 16 respondents. Uh, sorry, 15 a uh, 50 respondents. Ibig sabihin, total number of students natin is 50. Kapag i-add pa natin ito lahat, aabot ba ng 50? 11 plus 2 plus 10 plus 1 11 plus 2 plus 10 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 Ano pa ang sagot? Ang sagot ay 34 Pero ilan ang respondents natin? 50 Ilan ba ang nasa labas ng tatlong sets? Ito siya Nasa labas ng tatlong sets or the complement Therefore, the answer is 16, 50 minus 34, the answer is 16. Okay, dahil nabuo na natin ang ating Venn diagram, pwede na natin sagutan yung mga tanong. Tanong, how many students like math only? Tingnan natin, ito yung mathematics. Diba? Pero ang tanong is math only. Kung sasagot tayo ng 1, ang 1, gusto rin hilig ng English. Pag sasagot tayo ng 10, ang, ang 10, hilig ng Science at saka English. Kapag sasagot tayo ng 2, gusto niya Science at Math. Pero ang tanong is Math only. Ano ba ang tanong? Sagot, 11. Which is, eto siya. Wala siyang ibang gusto kundi Mathematics lang. Pangalawa, how many students like science only? Based on our Venn diagram, ilan ba? Good job! One. Pangatlo, how many students like English only? On our Venn diagram, ilan ba dyan? Ang gusto ay English lang. Four. Very good. Meron tayong apat. Pangapat na tanong, how many students later choose the three three subject. Andiyan sa ilan ba sa mga estudyante na tinatanong out of 50 ang hindi gusto ang math, science at English o hindi pumili ng math, science at English. Ang tala ang sagot ay 16. Very good. Yan. Alam niyo na kung paano mag-solve ng problems, word problems using the Venn diagram. Good job. And thank you for watching Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Para yung iba naman ay malaman kung paano mag-solve ng worded problem using the Venn diagram. And do not forget, please like, share and subscribe also subscribe to Sir Nino channel and nagtuturo rin siya ng mathematics na tulad ko maraming salamat at kita kits sa next na mga o susunod na mga video